Hey there, I'm Casey Dimon with TaxAllAcademy.com. Today we're going to be talking about the pros and the cons of the in-person auctions. Now last week we discussed the pros and the cons of online bidding, but the truth is that there's many parts of the country that haven't yet converted to online bidding. So let's go ahead and talk about the auctions that will require you to be in person to bid. What we mean by this is you must physically be there, not in person at a computer screen, but in person as in in the room. You have to be holding the bidder paddle or the bidder number in order to bid on the properties. First off, let's discuss three pros or three different advantages. The first one is that it severely limits your competition. Since you must be there in person to bid, if someone can't make it to the auction, they can't bid. Your competition will only be limited to those investors who can actually make it to the auction. And I've been to auctions before where it was just myself and one other bidder in the room. And, well, that's going to be pretty nice if you get yourself into that situation. Number two is you hear things that online bidders won't hear. There are going to be a number of times where I've saved some serious money because I kept my mouth shut and my ears open. I've heard chatter about a house burning down the day before the auction when I planned to buy it. I've also heard auctioneers mention that a homeowners association is planning on forcing or suing the bidder or the buyer of a new piece of property in their development to develop it a certain way and it could cost the bidder a lot of money. There's some very valuable information to be heard while you're attending an auction in person. And the last advantage that we'll discuss is the ability to network. The ability to meet other investors, local realtors, the auctioneers, these guys can all have a tremendous impact on your career. Just having those local contacts when you need help or suggestions is going to be huge for your business. Now, let's discuss three disadvantages or three cons of these in-person auctions. The first one is going to be the most obvious. It's not very convenient. By definition, in-person auctions will require you to be there, well, in person. This means that you have to wake up, you have to get dressed, you have to register, you have to sit at the auction, you have to wait for your property to come up, you bid the whole nine yards. It's just not as convenient as online auctions. The second disadvantage is the auction limitations. You're limited to one auction per day usually. Online auctions, you can literally sit there and attend multiple auctions simultaneously through different browser windows. But in-person auctions, you just can't do this. And typically when you factor in driving time, you're usually going to be limited to just one auction per day. This makes it especially difficult in states like Oklahoma, for instance, where every single auction is going to be held the very same day of the year. And the third con is interactions. And I mean this in the nicest way possible. You have to deal with people. This will include waiting in line for others to register, listening to questions that have already been asked for the auctioneer to only re-answer them again, people telling you not to bid on something, people distracting you from bidding, people trying to talk to you while you're trying to conduct business, that kind of thing. So, as you can see, there are certainly some benefits and some drawbacks to in-person only auctions. With that said, the limitation to competition can definitely be a huge advantage if you're able to attend in-person auction. And my suggestion is to not to limit yourself to any particular styles of auction. Go ahead and attend both in-person and online auctions. I really hope this video has helped you. For more information on tax law investing, head on over to taxallacademy.com. Again, that's taxallacademy.com. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.